Welcome back to another nature reaction. Uh, today we got From Cub to King Alliance Survival Guide. Uh, now it's been a little bit since we've done one of these, man. So like always, let's not waste any time. It just gets right into this one, man. And that. Okay. Holy cow, Cindy. Holy cow? No, no, bitch. That's not a cow. That is a lion. That would be holy lion. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no, bruh. Fuck that. See, this is why I can't do this, dude. If they wanted to, they could probably just break this window, right? Like, that is a lion, bruh. It's the holidays. It's that time. It's that season. It's the season that gives you a reason. Hands freezing as you put. Oh yeah, merry uh, merry 2024. By the way, hopefully you're having a good start of your motherfucking year, man. The keys and then you put the please in and get to please and Mary feels and us like Jordan Peels and wanna rid the world of evil. Free. Yo, relax, rap god. Oh my god, I ain't realized the real slim shady just stood up, bro. Holy shit. Let's go back. One sec. It's the holidays. It's that time. It's that season. It's the season that gives you a reason. Hands freezing as you put the keys in. Then you put the please in and get to please in. Mary feels in us like Jordan Peels and wanna rid the world of evil. Free sin. Put the hate of the world on leave. No tree things. Yeah, I lost a bet. Sorry y'all had to hear it. Fire. It's the season of giving. And who better to give to than the less fortunate? Which is why if you're watching this and have thumbs, this video's not for you. There's only like 20,000 something lions left in the world. For reference, the Elephant Empire is over 400,000 strong. Ooh. So this is a comprehensive Cub to King guide on how to be a lion for lions. Uh, obviously. Little disclaimer though, when I was researching, I found this guy stole my idea. Like, coming up with it and posting it first. Now, but seriously, he's done this exact concept but with other animals. I actually watched his polar bear <coughs> video, it's pretty good, you have to go check it out. But yeah, here's how to survive the horrifically traumatizing okay. life of a lion. And if you're not a lion, Respectfully get your homo sapien hind parts out of here. It ain't always about you. Your story, like every other. But I want to watch this, so I'm going to watch this. Okay, bro? Okay. Birth begins at birth. I hope you enjoyed it, because that is the last time you'll ever know peace. This part okay. is strictly luck. Pure RNG. As a lion fresh out, you're born both blind and deaf. Stevie wondering about the world around you. Damn. So unlike hyena cubs who are born ready for smoke, you're as yeah. helpless as helpless get. That thing look gross, bro. That thing's so gross. Yeah, you're just completely dependent on your mom, though, right? You can't even run until you're a month young. Damn, you're so defenseless month? that your mother has to take maternity leave <coughs> away from the pride just to give birth. And that's because cubs have a 50% chance of survival. Yeah, won't they get murked out by the male? In the first year. That shrinks to about 20% by year two. And in the end, only 12.5% of lion cubs born get to the adult stage. Only 12, so 12% 12 of lions make it to adults, or is it like 50, and then 20, and then 12, and like you keep taking exponentially, you know what I'm saying? Page, while the rest become footnotes on a history page. As a cub, there's about a thousand ways to meet Mufasa. Anything from eagles, to wild dogs, to the ops of Lion King can revoke your subscription to existing. Your mother will do her best by alternating hiding spots, but if they catch you while she's out grocery shopping, it's curtains, kid. There's also the chance megafauna like elephants and buffalo decide to invest in their future. Bro, what a bitch! She picked up her favorite cub and ran. You see that? Oh, I, I didn't miss that. It's curtains, Goodness. kid. There's also the chance megafauna. Look, she picks up one. Like elephants. Look, she left her other two. She really picked up her favorite and ran, bro. Buffalo decide to invest in their future by canceling yours. We'll get to them. And obviously, disease okay, can be a major say, roadblock to your that, pursuit right? of happiness. But by far, the biggest <coughs> threat to your way of life: other lions. Mm -hmm. A quarter of lion cubs born get murked by their own kind, and you likely already know the most common example. When a new male takes over a pride, one yeah. of the first orders of business is to put any genetic remnant of the past on a t-shirt. Because he wants his genetics to be passed on, dog. Getting a stepfather means getting a step closer to an early grave. And while there's nothing you can do, some lionesses will resort to mating with as many males as physically possible. Oh, what the Having hell? a mom more ran through than a yellow light on a freeway means she can commit paternity fraud. And the more males that think they're the father, the farther you have a chance of going in life. But it's not just the guys you have to worry about. Love can be conditional, and lionesses have been known. I wonder if. Oh, it's already in 1080, bro. That's nice. Known to abandon sick cubs, or even a healthy one, if it's the last one left in the litter, so that she can start over. That's right. That's you can get the up. death penalty for the crime of being an only child, and having a lot of siblings can be a decentian sentence too. Lionesses can have litters anywhere from two to six, but only have four teats. I think you can see the problem here. 
Now, if you're lucky, you're born into a prime. Wait, two to six, but only have four. Oh my God! So two of them about to just starve, <laughs> dude. Lions got it rough, bro. We only three minutes in. Where the females sync their reproductive cycles like Bluetooth, meaning you can suckle whatever auntie or cousin's closest to you. Big pause on that. If you're not lucky, either lay down the law with your siblings or starve. So even though you'll need the grace of RN Jesus to see your first birthday, I do have some tips for you. Play Ooh, as much dude, as you so can cute, and get good at it. Rest assured, everything you learn while playing will 100% come back later in life. Fire. Stay close to your mom. You're basically going to want to be her shadow, yeah. especially once she reintegrates back into the pride after a couple months. The other females might tolerate you, but the young teenagers play rough and can seriously rock your sh if your mom's not watching. Oof. Speaking of which, if you can survive all that for the first nine months or so, congrats, you've officially made it to the awkward teen phase. Yeah. Or as I like to call it, the fuck around and find out phase. Fuck because that's essentially out, all yeah. you're going to be doing. All you're going to be doing is fucking around and finding out. Fire! Dude, dude I love this video, man. You're gonna feel I, gotta, to I gotta start doing more uh, Hood Nature reactions again, because this shit is all... I always fucking enjoy this, man. The world. Give me so a nice motherfucking curiosity doesn't up, add man. you to its body count. This might look like nature's massage ball, but the porcupine has about 30,000 ways it can discipline the youth. Adults are usually smart enough not to bother, but it's often the cubs not minding their business that get wounded. Ooh. Those quills have sharp barbs that expand and push deeper into the skin until they eventually- And they're, they're like recurved. So when they get in there, you try to pull them out, they're like stuck in there. They're like hooks. So they go in and then you try to pull out, it's like bat and they get stuck hit something important it's a high risk low reward situation not even worth it testing a black mamba is worth even less even though the snakes naturally shy and would rather run away than run a fade they can and will strike and there'll be one less line in the world if that happens oh, megafauna like no. elephants and rhinos are the two heaviest things walking the earth find out if you want to but you might not live long enough to find out twice but it's actually the third heaviest that might as well be the, the mascot hippo, of yeah. f around and find out the hippopotamus might look like an old dude hippos just want smoke with everything bro they're just out here fucking up everything humans like nothing is not on the hit list for him for hippos you know what i'm saying beast boneless rhino to everything's with, on the hit list for me him. hippos are a problem nobody wants to have Again, adults normally know better than to press a fully grown homicidal war pig, but you'll often see a lot of your older, more experienced siblings test them. That is effing around, and this is what it looks like to find out. But pro tip, hippos spend all night eating and all day in the water. So you're gonna want to avoid the riverbanks around dawn, since that's when the assault horse comes home. Bro, there's still- he still hasn't even mentioned, mentioned crocodiles yet. They got- big ass crocodiles, dude. But as a cub, if there's one animal you want to social distance from, it's definitely this one right here. Because okay, not only do buffalo. buffalo travel in herds of hundreds, they actively seek revenge, and you might not have done anything to them, but this bull happens to have generational beef in your bloodline. Oh my Let them go travel you into a chalk outline if they get the chance, and you can end up getting treed for hours by the whole herd. Oh, Especially hell since no. they'll actively seek out lion cubs just like you to snuff. You can spin the block later, but for now, beef is not a regular part of your diet, and it's something you want no parts of. Also, now that you're getting old enough, you'll probably be getting invited on hunts with the pride. Fire. Well, slow your roll, Sim, but first you'll start off watching from a safe distance. Okay. At about 15 to 16 months, you should be able to participate. Hell but yeah. hunting ain't without its risks, so here's even more tips. Tip 1. Stick to your weight class. Build your confidence by going for smaller, weaker prey. No that EVP. Makes sense. Tip 2. Learn from watching. Learning how to hunt ain't a one and done thing, and I can show you a graveyard full of cubs <coughs> I thought otherwise. Tip 3. It's better to be late than early. You're probably going to be super excited for your first hunt. It'll have you laying out your clothes on the bed the night before. That's but the great. worst thing you can do is break formation early. Not only does it ruin the hunt and send everybody home hungry, you can go from full-time standing to part-time. <laughs> Yo, no shot. Why you got to add in the sound effect, bruh? The sound effects what killed me. Not only does Look it ruin that. the hunt and send everybody home hungry, you can go from full-time standing <laughs> to part-time in the Air Force. As you get older, you'll start exploring the boundaries of your family's territory, but just keep in mind that terrain can be just as dangerous. Trees are a good time, but keep in mind, as a lion, you're not a natural tree climber. It's not that you can't get up there, it's the getting down part that lions struggle with, and the oh, bigger no. and heavier you are, the higher your chances of falling and oh, dislocating fallin'. something. Some cubs wait until they get stuck in a tree to find out. Don't be that guy. Also, as a lion, don't cross a river unless you have absolutely no other choice. It's not because you can't swim, but because of what you might be sharing the water with. And if you <laughs> think you can outswim a hippo, joke's on you. They don't even swim. They full send sprint on- Yeah, they're not swimming. They're literally running on the ground, bro. That's what's so horrifying. Like, it's, it's, 
once I realized that from, I can't remember what video it was. It was from Hood Nature, though. But once I realized that these motherfuckers literally can't swim, but if they're going at you and you see them, they are running on the ground. That is just the scariest thing of all time, bro. Water with. Just a tank. Just on the ground, running through water, bruh? No. If you think you can outswim a hippo, joke's on you. They don't even swim. They full send sprint underwater. But all that aside, this is actually the safest time in your life because at the end of the day, at least you still have the pride That's to fall so back fun. on. Enjoy it because the hardest road is still in front of you. Yeah, because once you become a male, like if you're a, ma if you're a female, you stay with the mom, right? And you like join that pride. But if you're a male, once you reach a certain age, the other males are like, yo, Get the fuck out of here. And they, like, kick you out of the home, and you gotta go and find your own fucking territory and shit. I think. I believe so. There comes a day in every future Lion King's life that'll absolutely break your heart. Yeah, here it the is. The day you get evicted from your pride. I there's was right, feet, motherfucker. There's just not enough to go around for you to stay home. Plus, staying would mean double-dipping your DNA the royal way. Ugh. So one day you'll wake up, and you'll no longer be welcome. At this point, you're two to three years old with all the tools to survive. But it'll be the first time you've ever been alone in a world that preys on the weak and isolated. It's a rite of passage every male must go through, and I'm here to help you through it. Hell first, yeah, here prepare we go. to walk a lot. Male lions starting out can travel hundreds of kilometers away from their birth pride Damn. looking for their own place. And as a bachelor with no land, the only place you can live is on the outskirts or the dead space between established territories. That's cause trespassing's a crime punishable by soul divorce. And you might look like a legal adult, but there ain't enough hair on your mane to square up with a property owner. Yet. To avoid confrontation, Yet. pro tip, learn to listen to the sound of roaring in the distance. Roaring is how prides mark their territory, and as a newbie, you'll learn to walk in the opposite direction of it. But rival Leos ain't your only worry. You're not the only predator on the plains, and knowing how you match up with the others is essential. But lucky for you, I brought the perfect guest to talk to you about just that. That's a fuck so, that guy now up. that you've leveled up and unlocked the nomadic quest line. Hell yeah, this is Tirzu. Tirzu, Tirzu's fire, Loki. Uh, I used to watch that before I watched Hood Nature, but there's nothing like Hood Nature, man. Let's be real. It's important to understand how the lion build matches up against all the other predator builds in the African All right, meta. let's get it. Knowing the limits of your abilities is crucial in this game. Oh, state. dude, that's so sick. That's like the greatest fucking... They should be showing that juke to NFL running backs, all right? This right meta. here. Knowing the limits of your look, abilities Look how he is... sets them up. Look how he sets them up. We're going one direction right here. Hold up. We're going to zoom this bit. We're going to slow this bitch down. How do I do this? Look at this. Look at this. Crucial Sets him up. Ah, and it gives him a big juke the other way. He gets all his momentum going one way, and then he knows that he can fucking shift and go the other direction faster than this bitch. Look at that. Ah, later. That shit is so fire. All right, we're going to watch it one more time in full speed. Lion build matches up against all the other predator builds. That in shit the is so fire. Metal. Knowing the limits of your abilities is crucial in this oh, game. Oh, bitch, where you going, Most important boy? Of which is to bear in mind that the lion's <coughs> bite force is actually one of the weakest among hyper carnivores. Okay, this is just insane, bruh. What am I watching right now? Apex predators. This means lions need to rely on critical hits to score kills, meaning that matchup knowledge is super important. While there's very little that can threaten an entire pride of lions, now that you've struck out on your own, you'll need to be a bit more careful with which fights you engage with. Lions have extremely dominant matchups oh, against some oh, of them, oh. but will struggle in others. Let's delve yeah, into the Lions nice matchup hell. chart. Cheetahs okay. are extremely fast and not worth expending the energy to chase down. However, they're of basically zero threat to you in combat, as they have dull, <laughs> non-retractable claws and a weak bite. In fact, they're so frail that they'll rarely put up a fight defending their yeah. own kills. This is a highly cheetahs really low key bitches. Like if it's not a hundred meter dash, you don't really want a cheetah, right? Exploitable weakness that you can use to score free XP. If you're not a sprint, if you're not like a, a sprinter, and they can't do long distances either. Cheetahs gas out so fast. They're most active in the mornings and evenings. So be on the lookout for them to see if you can spot an easy mark. Leopards are the largest felid predator in the Look African server. Other leopards than your fellow my, lion player. Leopards are my favorite animal for so long, dude. They're still easily top three for me, dude. Leopards are badass. However, because they're solitary and slightly weaker than a lion, it's unlikely that they'd ever challenge you to a fight. Yeah. They're better climbers than lions and will usually drag their kills up a tree to make them harder to steal. But if the opportunity <laughs> arises, they can still be worth bullying. Yo, no why? Baboons are perhaps one of the most no often shot, underestimated bro. builds in the African meta. <coughs> They're surprisingly powerful, with wicked canine teeth and a bite force nearly as strong as a lion's. 
Individually, they don't really have enough HP to be able to outlast a lion in a fight. But baboons just about always roll in large groups, yeah, you so it can be quite dangerous jumped. engaging in battle with any of them. In addition to Absolute being dangerous jump. in and of themselves, <laughs> baboons can be an absolutely massive problem for any predator player looking to score a meal. They will alert herbivore players to your presence, thwarting any hunting attempt they witness. What a hoe! That is, unless you can make the baboons your- They're really a snitch, bro! What a hoe! ...allies instead. Herbivore players trust baboons for their vigilance. But if you can cut a deal with them, they may deliberately fail to sound the alarm so long as they have assurance that they won't be the ones attacked. Uh, you Better for them if the local apex predators have full bellies. Hyenas are another example of a build lions can easily handle one-on-one, -on -one, but because hyenas also tend to form large packs, a lone lion needs to be really careful when trying to steal a kill. In fact, it's not uncommon for hyenas to steal a kill from a lone lion. Hyenas have extremely powerful jaws that can inflict serious bleed damage, okay, so lions can't risk tanking too many attacks from a pack of hyenas. Now that we've gone over matchups, let's talk about how to get the F word you've probably been waiting for. Food. Yes. Uh oh, you thought I meant- yeah, hit the brakes, young- Yes, we're hungry! Well, priorities. Food is the most important resource as a nomad, and knowing how to get it without also getting slapstick to death is vital. A misconception is that male lions don't hunt. You can, and you're just as good as the girls, you just gotta know your game. Your big frame and poor stamina means you are strictly an ambush hunter. This strat's pretty simple. Stalk your quarry from tall, dense shrubs until you're close enough to close the gap. Then uh. use your brute strength to overpower them, and then, congrats, you- Yo, that was insane. The female just sitting there, and then the male comes up like, bitch! Let's watch that one more time. That was an fire. ambush hunter. This strat's pretty simple. Stalk your quarry from tall, dense shrubs until you're close enough to close the gap. Oh, then use your brute strength to overpower them. And then, congrats, you have just made a kill. You'll want to build your confidence with low risks Bro, like in death. in front of all those people, too. Look at all the fucking people, son. Oh, my God. It's so crazy, because, like, they could just, like, swoop this guy. You know what I'm saying? Like... Imagine and then congrats you have just let's just pretty imagine simple. for Stalk a second your quarry from tall dense shrubs and He doesn't get for this right, but he keeps running and jumps and gets this motherfucker right here Okay, do we think these guys are gonna be able to react react fast enough personally? I don't I think if he keeps running and just jumps up here and snags one of these motherfuckers There is nothing any of these guys can do about it like They're what 10 yards away maybe 15 yards 20 yards at max like d these guys are psychos bro see i'd be like this car or or this car or or one of these cars that is like farther away and i can easily just whip away this so is you're wild. close enough to close the gap then use your brute strength to overpower them and then congrats you have just made a kill You'll want that to build your confidence with low risks like Gazelle or Kudu. Crazy. If you want pork products, try Warthogs, because ain't no Hakuna Matata when you can be dead in the manana. Soon you'll graduate okay. to zebras or young hippos. Eventually, you'll have all the tools to take down a buffalo. And I'm going to just say this right Fire. now. A huge part of your success as a lion depends on your ability to murk a thousand pounds of meat and muscle. A steady diet of buffalo can take you from a scrawny underling to an absolute mother unit. The mother Hell the yeah. There was a pride of lions just like you in the Okavango Delta that were buffalo specialists, and uh, yeah, call them Rose from Titanic, cause they- Yeah, that, that, dude, that was the one where, like, the river turned, or some shit like that, and they couldn't, they wouldn't cross the river, obviously, cause you were lying, you're not crossing a big-ass river, so they just only ate buffaloes for, like, a couple generations, and just got yoked as fuck. They got remember, jacked. I remember Joe talked about that a lot. Joe Rogan loves that shit. Bulking on buffalo is like Mario downing a mushroom, and the sooner you can add a walking meat locker to your meal prep, the better. <gasps> just make sure you don't get caught lacking, or you're gonna find yourself lacking a will to live. Ooh. Because you're an ambush Come hunter, on, you're gonna wanna find an down, area dog. with a lot of vegetation, and avoid open areas with no cover. You're also gonna have the best results hunting in the dark, thanks to your absolutely broken night vision. Also, going all out in the dead heat can cause your system to factory reset. Cause the main might be a flex, but it's not a fan. But also remember, hunting's hard, and you can expect a success rate of about 15% when you're oh, starting, and up to like 23 once you have experience. I love that Anything so just under 40% basically makes it a Steph Curry of carnivores. So you're gonna have to get your attempts up. Shoot or shoot. But there's another shoot easy way to make true. a living. Bro, true. look at that. Just playing tug of war over this month Criminal activity specifically stealing there's no court in the wild and up to 12 percent of your diet can be stolen from other predators and that number can rise to nearly 50 in some places two lion life hacks for making a steal number one watch out for vultures in the sky descending as that can indicate a fresh kill 
And number two, listen to the sound of hyenas arguing. It's usually over food, and despite what you've probably been taught in lion school, you steal more from them than they pinch food from you. Fire, also, African wild know. dogs have the highest hunting success rate of any predator out here. But to you, they're also glorified greyhounds, and any kill they make is free real estate. But yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you, this will likely be the worst time of your life. Okay. You're alone, always hungry, and there's always a chance a bigger lion comes in and turns you into a- Let's get to the to the end game of lion, of, of being a male lion though, where you like, you're running your own pride and shit. Unless you're able to convince males from your pride, brothers, half-brothers, cousins, whoever, Who to join you so you? you can form a coalition. These group of guys are going to be the most important relationships you ever make. In real talk, y'all don't even have to be related. As a group, you instantly go from struggling solitary predator to a perpetual powerhouse. Hell yeah, it's like look Jordan, at that. Pippen, and Rodman on the same team, except now it's the Bulls that get spanked. Yeah, These are look at that. Dude, that can that's last so your far. Life. And there's no better way to let your brother know you appreciate him than with a good old friendly forehead rubbing. Aw. Y'all are adorable. Dude, that's Your fire. coalition can have three, four, hell, up to six members on the team. And together, anything's possible. Dude, look at that super team. They really went and rebuilt the fucking Warriors from 20, the 2015, 2016 the Warriors. The Mapoho Coalition dog. was a squad of six that flexed over 260 square miles of territory, murked over 100 lines in their time, and likely got it on more than Genghis Khan. The okay, Mapoho's are a story for that, another but... time, but you don't need a team of- Hey, Genghis Khan fucked a lot of bitches. He ran through hoes, okay? Sometimes all you really need is just one ride or die. And after a couple years of learning and growing together- Dude, now look at him with the black mane. Oh my god, that's so- They look fired. You can't deny that this picture is fucking fire. You can get to the Let's fun part. Real. At this point, you're seasoned by life at the ripe old age of five. And once your mane's thick enough and your balls swing low enough, yep. you and your mans can take on another top male in a fight for the right to his territory. Oh, you shit. can either run his fade directly or arrive and post up in his territory waiting for smoke like Thanos. The battle is brutal That's and sick. bloody and if you lose, it's back to square one with a couple of scars to take with you. But if you win, you've just earned your first territory and all the lioness is in it. First thing on the agenda is to drain the gene pool by life retiring any cubs. <laughs> yeah, and if so you think crazy. that's OD, just remember, it easily could have been you. Yeah, it could have Even though you're part you, of the coalition, it's a dominant male that gets the most opportunities to mate. And since lions can get it on hundreds of times a day, prepare to lay more pipe than a plumber. There but since go. no one man can handle that much lionessy, even if you're second or third in command, rest assured, you will get your chance. Before you know it, you'll have Yo, cubs of your what? own. And congrats, you have officially become a lion king. Yeah, Ready look at that. Pride? You've earned it. And remember, the darker their mane, the more attractive you are. It seems all good, but now you got responsibilities. As king, your job is to protect your family and territory. And usually that means patrolling the area and leaving your mark. But once in a while, it'll mean letting your paws fly. It's also on you to protect your food supply. Lioness is king. Yo, what the fuck was that? I'm about to go find this video. To protect your family and territory. And usually that means patrolling the area and leaving your mark. But once in a while, it'll- Look at that. They fighting over here? Letting your paws fly. This is insane. It's also on you to protect oh your food supply. Oh my god, Lionesses bro. can lose that is up insane. to 20% of kills to hyenas and an additional 17% to scavenging males. So don't be shy to lay down the law. Speaking of hunting, you'll really only be a factor less than 5% of the time. And by then, your main role will be the subduer or the play finisher. The one that comes in to outmuscle large prey. Yeah, there Here's you go. how to boost your pride's hunting stats. Always make sure to leave an area after a successful hunt to give their survivors time to let their guard down. And yeah, that is something lions actually do. That Thunderstorms are the best possible time to strike since your prey will have virtually no way of seeing you coming. For the same reason, full moons are the worst for catching prey off guard, so you might as well have everyone take that night off. Sleep well, because it's something you'll do for up to 20 hours a day, sometimes 24 after a big meal. Rest easy, because one day you'll need it. Every empire comes to an end, Aww. and one day the sun will set on yours too. Yep. But they don't tell you is where lionesses though. have a life expectancy of 15, 16 years, males only really get 8 to 10. What they don't wow. tell you is very few lions die of old 10. age, and it is never peaceful. And whether it's in a bad hunting accident, or you finally losing a fight and therefore your pride, or even that same pride turning on you, one day you'll join all the great kings of the past and the fall. stars. Yep. It's a tough pill to swallow, but you gotta fall. Oh my god. Nothing worth having is easy to keep. One day your reign will end, but for now, you sit at the throne. Hell the throne yeah. of the Lion King. Dude, this video was so far.
Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I definitely took a lot of pride in this one, and I I, I, I swear that wasn't a pun. You it probably already pun. know that I have you a book out, purpose. but I'm also selling calendars, where each day is a yeah, way an animal can have you kissing dirt indefinitely. It'll be in the description if you want to check it out. But yeah, drink water, hug your loved. Huge shout out to Tearzoo for being in this video, True. and I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Far. Let's see the final we need a plan of attack. I have a plan. Attack. attack. Hell yeah. Yeah, well. <laughs> Yo, what is this? Fire. Oh, look at him. Look at him. Damn, dude. That video was fucking amazing, like always. Holy shit. Yo, hey, make sure to go subscribe to uh to Casual Geographic if you haven't already, man. Goddamn. And uh James Stoland right here, right? And uh, Tier Zoo, yeah? I'll make sure to put all the uh, all the links in the description, man. Alright, stay safe. Uh, I'll catch you next time, man. Deuces, 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 deuces.